Hi, I'm Angie Fenton, host of WHS 11's Great Day Live and editor of Extol Magazine. Five years ago, I received a call from Mark Casper, agency director at St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities, asking me to MC their gala. Over these five years, I've had the pleasure of working with and getting to know the staff, clients, and volunteers of this outstanding organization. The gala has become such a special night that I get to enjoy spending with my husband, our team at Extol, and all of our new friends at St. Elizabeth. Now, while circumstances, of course, don't allow for us to gather in person this year for St. Elizabeth's signature fundraising event, we can come together virtually to share some of the elements that make the gala so special, to learn about the amazing work being done by the agency and raise critical funds to support St. Elizabeth's programs. A little bit later, we'll fill you in on a fabulous and fun virtual silent auction and the incredible opportunity to have your donation boosted during Give for Good Louisville on September 17th. Combining this online giving day with our virtual gala program, we are calling this our Gala for Good. If you aren't already familiar, let me fill you in a little bit about St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities. They've been serving our community for over 40 years, growing and adapting over that time to better serve individuals and families in need. They currently offer three tiers of housing for women and children facing homelessness, a full service adoption agency licensed in both Kentucky and Indiana, a distribution program that provides diapers, baby wipes, and other essential items free of charge, a supported living program for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and so much more. Just think about all the ways St. Elizabeth is impacting lives and helping people in need. Volunteers, donors, board members, and of course, the passionate and experienced staff all play important roles in making this happen. Tonight, we'd like to honor a very special staff member who was instrumental in setting the values of excellence, integrity, and compassion that guide St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities in their work. Let's learn more about Joan Cahill, St. Elizabeth's 2020 Spirit of Hope recipient. Clearly, Joan's tireless work and dedication has left a legacy that will live on for years to come. Think of all the lives she helped change during 16 years as social services director. If you have ever attended one of St. Elizabeth's galas, I'm sure you look forward to the stories told by former clients. I know each one I've been able to hear has touched my heart, and I'm so grateful that they're willing to share with all of us. Please watch as Capri shares her remarkable St. Elizabeth's story. Hello. First, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to everyone involved in St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities. It's the programs like this that give single mothers like me the hope they are yearning for. When I was first informed of St. Elizabeth, I was living in an extended stay hotel with the one-year-old and about four months pregnant with my second child. I was at a crossroad. I was trying my hardest to do everything right. I worked, I was in school, I was really trying, but as hard as I tried, it seemed I could never get ahead of the game to make ends meet. I had reached out to all the resources I knew about, but it always seemed there was someone who needed that help more than me. Then I found out about St. Elizabeth. 
I called and explained my story to Trisha, the residential director, and we moved in the next night. The first night in the house, I probably cried more than I wanted to. <sighs> The resources that were available to us, the weekly counseling, group meetings, activities, even the daily chores. All those moments in the house helped shape me into the woman and the mother I am today. Wait a minute, I need a second. I'm sorry. We lived in the house for about three months and then had the chance to move into one of the affordable supportive housing apartments. People would have always ask where I found this apartment and couldn't believe it was all through a program for women and children. We lived in our apartment for about two years with rent gradually increasing over time. It gave me the time I needed to establish my credit, develop good budgeting habits, and learn where to go when things got tight. One day, Trisha called me and informed me of Habitat for Humanity. I joined the program, put in the work, and shortly after became a homeowner I even got the honor of working on my home with my St. E family. Fast forward to today. My kids and I are in our home. I'm at a great place in my career. My children are healthy and happy. We're all happy. My support system is just as strong and growing stronger. When people ask me how I got to this point in my life, I never failed to mention my story with St. Elizabeth. For all the times I express my appreciation, I've been told it's because I worked so hard. To me, it's because I was introduced to the resources. I was at a part of a program that truly cared, that still cares. I am not ashamed of my moments in the shelter or my time spent living in the transitional program because it transformed into something unbelievable. That one phone call completely changed the path of our lives. Thank you all again, because sometimes the help we truly need is in the places we never expect ourselves to be. These past six months have brought much sadness and many challenges to our community and our world. Let us keep all those in need in our prayers and our actions meet our call from our Heavenly Father. I would like to thank all of you for joining us in our first ever virtual Gala for Good, as well as your ongoing support of the agency's mission. We were so excited to share the stories of two inspiring women with you tonight. Caprice has worked so very hard to achieve all she has and to provide a wonderful life for her boys. Joan Cahill laid the foundation for St. Elizabeth. For Joan, this was never a job. She had a passion for helping young women and children. I can promise you her vision lives on today. To both of them, I say Godspeed. The pandemic has necessitated that all our programs change the way we provide services to ensure the safety of our residents, clients, volunteers, and staff. I'm proud to say our staff implemented solutions with amazing speed and dedication to those we serve. Because of this, our shelters never close. And in fact, we expanded the populations we've historically housed to offer safety to more of the individuals who were being referred to us during these challenging times. And now St. Elizabeth is planning for a new challenge. The amount of individuals who lost employment or experienced reduction in hours has led to many families barely able to provide the basic needs these past few months. It is estimated that 73,000 Indiana and Kentucky residents could face homelessness this fall as protection from eviction is eased. That means about 14,000 people in our community are at risk with many facing homelessnesses for the very first time. We are determined to help meet this need and this is where we need your help. With the closing of two shelters in recent years, St. Elizabeth is one of very few options for homeless, pregnant, and parenting women. Having to cancel our gala as the COVID-19 shutdown began prevented us from holding our largest fundraiser and raising $250,000 to fund the agency. We've been blessed with community support these last few months, but now we are inviting others to continue 
contribute to ensure we are able to meet the potential wave of homelessness in our community. We certainly understand that not everyone is in a position to help out in these troubling economic times. For those who have given already and are able to make a contribution at this time, please know how much your support is valued and that we will be good stewards of the gifts entrusted to us. Up next, you will be able to learn about some of the upcoming opportunities to support St. Elizabeth and have your donation go further. In closing, I ask that you keep all of our staff and all those we serve in your prayers as we navigate these difficult times. For now, handshakes, hugs, and the excitement that come with our in-person events may be missing, but I can assure you the need in our community and the commitment from my staff and I to serve those individuals and families in need has never been greater. Until we meet again in person, please prayerfully consider partnering with St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities to provide help and create hope. From the board of directors, the staff, and especially our clients, thank you so much for joining us for St. Elizabeth's Gala for Good. We'd like to close with some special recognition of our sponsors who have generously stood by us as we have transitioned to a virtual event, and a song that we feel has some extra special meaning as we all face difficult times and unprecedented challenges. Please take a moment to view the sponsors as they scroll. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of Call to help all our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends.
things are supposed to do, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll sing a song beside you. And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me, every day I will remind you. Oh, find out what we're made of when we're called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two You'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, yeah